Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, thank you to all of you who got back to me about my snare drum cover video and all the responses I got um, <clears throat> and the feedback that I got to people either in real life or via the comments. I really appreciate it. It was a project that I worked on for a few days and uh, edited and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, and I'm, I'm do plan to maybe do more stuff like that in the future. I'm planning on actually doing a couple of uh, drum covers that using the using my drum set in the other room, but um, that will come later. Um, I just wanted to kind of show how I did that. So how actually because this the solo obviously the song wasn't isn't mine. This song is a remix of Havana, uh, made by uh, someone else, and I put the link. I'll put the link to that in the description if you want to hear it. It's a very nice remix. I also put it in the in the description of the video of the snare cover. But the snare, the lick itself, um, I actually came up with. Uh, and what I basically did was I took the 40 essential rudiments, a random number generator, and picked rudiments at random and just put them into it. So I know um, EMC Productions does stuff like that too, like the random like lick or the random like snare solo or random tenor solo or something like that. I think I kind of based off of his, but I kind of did it in a different way. And actually recently just got this uh, whiteboard over here. Let me move the camera. Recently just got this whiteboard right here, which is actually, if you can see, I started erasing it, but I, for, I stopped and I said, hey, maybe I can show people how I did this. And that's kind of what this video is about. Um, that actually has snare solo rudiments and I really just kind of put, I put all the bars, bar, 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 going down. It was around a 16 measure lick and I really put in like little notes like, oh, we do a diddle here, uh, um, crossover stick trick, like I did at the end of that video, or doing a butt end. Um, <clears throat> I actually have my stick right here, but I can use it as like a pointer thing. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I recently got this whiteboard. It's also to help me, it's also helped me keep organized about re general to do things, um, online classes, um, <clears throat> And stuff like this, like I can kind of map it out and I have more of a space. So I really, this is really like this. And this is this is basically my framework for the snare cover, the snare cover, the snare solo cover that I did. Um, still debating what to call it, snare solo, snare cover. It's basically a snare solo over a different, over the music of a different song to kind of add some more pep to it. Um, but now, after this video, I can finally erase this and put other things on there. I'm not going to zoom it in because then you don't really need to know. And each of these numbers represent a different rudiment. So the first one being, uh, let's, or let's do take one, uh, um, number uh, 21 here, which I know is the um, flam accent. I use 21 about three times in the solo, I think. But yeah, so, so in some of them I put plus other ones because I combined rudiments I did and stuff like that it's nothing too impressive but again I'm not a snare player I, I played bass for two years in my pep band at my school at my school HPU and which is becoming a marching band next year officially and to next year I will be playing quads which I'm super excited about and cannot wait to start doing that hopefully I don't know hopefully if you can even go back in the in the fall but that's what I've been working on Hello guys, I just, I, I forgot to do this part after I recorded the main part of this video where I was just talking, but I wanted to actually kind of show you like what the, what the snare, snare solo sounds like without the music. And also it is a little bit different from with when I would do with the music. Cause with the music I wanted it to sound, I wanted to go more to the beat. So I had to add in some fill sections in about two places. I'm actually, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the snare off for this cause what I have, I have my, uh, I have my snare drum right here that I got a while ago, that I got years ago, and um, I have my Evans Real Field pad. This, these are great pads, by the way. They're double sided. One side has a has a rubber side, and the second side, and the back side has, has a black cork side. And the the rubber side gives a gives a little more rebound, a little, and it's quieter. And this one's a little bit louder, and it has more of a tighter feel. More, I think, more of an authentic like marching snare feel here. And pretty quiet it's not too quiet but it's quiet this this side is if you want to do quieter I prefer the black side right now especially since I'm doing marching band now instead of like concert snare or drum set but um yeah Evans Evans real feel great 
I love the shape of it. It's nice. It's a little heavy, but it's got a lot of, it's, it's got a lot of, I, th I think it's got a lot of pros to it. So, and this is, this is a pad I've had for a while on my old pad. Um, my very old pad, actually, I got this in sixth grade, um, which was just a, uh, little way practice, like basic practice pad that you can put on like a weird, like symbol stand. And this one, you can see the bottom, a little rubber like parts where you rest it on a surface so it doesn't slide around. It's, it's gotten eaten away at from everything. The pad itself is, is like falling apart. It's got dents, it's got scratches. It's got this whole part is like come off. Um, and it's also evil. It's also very loud. It's nice and small and it's very light. So it's very nice to carry around. Also it helps kind of make sure you're, you're playing very center because it's a little bit smaller of a pad and it's got it's also got a rim which is also very nice but these rims kind of can are very loud this, this whole thing is very loud but um yeah but yeah this one's very nice i picked this one up at a uh, sam ash music i think so basically this the, the solo and this is the non this is, I'm, I'm, I'm showing the solo that without the background music, so we can use without the fills. There's one part where I was going. That was a fill section. There was also a part at the beginning where I go. Um, and that's where the solo starts, so a real solo starts. I just did that just to kind of go with the beginning of the song. And plus the stick clicks also kind of added a lead up to it. But this is just the pure solo, how I originally had done it here before I added any of the, any of the stuff that before I add any of the filler sections to go with the actual song. But this is the, this is the solo by itself, so I'm gonna do it slower. It goes. That's the first half of the solo. The second half of the solo goes as follows. The second half of the solo is a bit, is, is more difficult, in my opinion. It's got a little bit more intense parts. And it actually starts with like, kind of like a, so. It's one, two. So, it's kind of, I, I like that feel right there where it goes. Like that. And I, I just kind of, and then I had two strictures. Two straight, two, two stick tricks toward the end. A stick butt trick where I go. Actually, I did originally plan on doing this, except um, I ended up picking up the tempo way too much to do that, so I just went. And then after that, then we have a, we have a, and then we have. Um, make sure you get those dills out. Um, because I had some nice trouble, had trouble doing that a couple times. So it was a crossover six, so. So, and that's the end of the solo. So I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play the full, the full thing through right here, and, um, this is what it looks like. Almost a, about at full speed, I don't know, I'm not keeping track. Um, but this is what this is what the whole thing will look like. I think I'm next part of the side of the drum or something, but close enough, I don't care. 
I'm gonna end this real quick. Bye. Uh, yeah, another topic I wanted to cover was thank you for everyone who wished me a happy birthday and all the stuff I remember. Then my sister made a really sweet video where she reached out to a bunch of people that I wanted to see or that I missed because of the whole pandemic thing. And she reached out to a bunch of friends to make a, like a short like, like 15 second video for me to wish me a happy birthday. And it was very sweet. And thank you so much, Dana, for that. That really meant a lot to me. And thank you to everyone else who sent me happy birthday wishes and or stuff. Don't send me stuff. Another thing I wanted to cover, I'm actually using this as kind of an update video, a little mini mini update video, but I do plan on revisiting, I, again, I don't know when this will happen, but I do plan on revisiting some old playthroughs that I never quite finished in the past. One of those being N64 Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I do plan on going back to that at some point, I just don't know when I'm going to. I could do it at any time, but there's other things that I'm doing right now, like I'm playing Minecraft with Cassie. Um, I just got Mario Kart 8 for the Switch, because uh, my, my sister and my fam got that for me for my birthday, which is very nice of them, thank you. I've been enjoying playing that with Dana. Unfortunately, we're not recording it. If you guys want, really want us to record it, then leave a comment. Also, another thing about the comments, leave a comment if you want me to actually write out this solo, because I've, I could do it on MuseScore or something like that. I know I have MuseScore. I think that's about the only thing I have where I can compose music on, but I can maybe download something else if something else works better. But I think I've heard MuseScore is really good. I can compose, I can write out this, this solo and maybe make it a PDF and send it out to you guys if you guys want to know what it looks like on paper and if you guys want to do it for yourself. Stuff like that. It's something that impressive and it's only 16 bars, but never, Nevertheless if you, if you want that then I will do that if, if I get enough requests for that then I will write out the snare solo Which means I might not want to erase that just in case I'll keep that up for a, for a few more days I'm gonna be going back to Monstrum a little bit I still want to finish that if I get what I'm deciding to do for Monstrum is if I get if I get close enough to getting the sub ending then I will Switch on a recording and say, hey, I've made it to this point. I have what I need. Let's see if I can do this. Because I've been trying to get the submarine ending quite a few times off screen as well. And I, it's just, it's a struggle. Sometimes the game just kind of screws you over. But, yeah, I do plan on doing more Monstrum. I, I have been planning on um, doing some streams here and then. I just haven't gone around to it yet. Again, I just, there's other things I'm doing. There's, there's things I'm doing with percussion. Uh, things with Cassie, just doing stuff with my family. Like, it's just, I'm just kind of cooped up here. So I do have a lot of time to do that stuff. And of course, online classes as well. That is also a huge part of this. So, yeah. I wanted to say something related to that. Um, I hope all of you are being safe and healthy during these crazy times. Uh, cooped up at home, working from home, doing school from home, taking online classes, whatever you were doing. I hope you were all happy and making the best of the situation as we can because what I'm trying to do is even though this kind of sucks and we're stuck here for who knows how much longer, um, I'm just trying to make the best of the situation and trying to keep doing the things I love doing even though I may be limited in what I can do right now in terms of what I actually have access to. But I went outside and filmed a snare solo video. That was a lot of fun doing that and I appreciate all the any, any and all feedback that I've gotten that I I've gotten and will receive for that. <clears throat> and just want to say, I hope you guys are staying safe out there, having fun, doing things you love, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.